Welcome to all for online education. Commerce theory part for the English medium second, English medium first years and the chapter which we are dealing with that is the business organization and that is the part 10. Yes, here what we are going to dis discuss that the disadvantages of the corporative societies. We have seen the meaning, definition, futures, advantages. And now we are going to discuss about the disadvantages of the corporative societies. So what are the disadvantages? Let us see one by one what are the disadvantages of the corporative society in detail. Yes, let us see it. The first one, inefficient management. The management is inefficient because the management, the society can't able to employ, the society can't able to afford the persons who have the skill, abilities, talent to manage the business of the corporative society. So, there is a lack of management support for this business. There is less management support to this business because the corporative society can't able to afford the person with the necessary abilities, knowledge, experience unlike the company form of organizations how the companies are employing the expert person in their organization in this way these organize this corporative society can't able to afford the person the employee with the specific skill knowledge talent okay they can't able to afford them because they have very limited resources due to these very limited resources because of these are disadvantage they can't able to if uh, they can't able to afford the management who have the current correct knowledge about the maintenance of the corporative societies next one limited financial resources the corporative society has very limited financial resources Yes, see restrictions on dividend and principles of one member, one vote discourage the rich people. It is discouraging the rich people to participate in the corporative societies because the dividend is a limited dividend, okay. The limited dividend and also the rich people can't able to invest. They are not interested to invest in the corporative societies because the limited dividend make uh, them to discourage and to participate discouragement this discouragement make them to participate into the not to participate into the corporative societies from joining the society limited scope for the expansion and growth due to the limited resources due to the limited financial resources the growth and expansion of the corporative society is also very very limited because the rich persons are not participating here the persons who are participating here they may be belongs to some backward sections means from weaker sections or economically or socially weaker sections of the people or the common people are participating in this society so the rich peoples are absent and the capital is very limited so it become very difficult for the corporative societies to uh, expand their society or grow their society so that's why they generally depend upon the loan from the government or other corporative societies and sometimes they depend upon the central or state government for the funds okay these are the disadvantages next lack of unity among the members as we know the members belongs to different sections of the society the corporative society members belongs to different sections of the society so they don't have the similar mindset they don't have the similar attitude they don't have the similar character so that's why there is a difference in them that's why it will become very difficult to form as a unity so that's why there is a lack of unity means there is no unity among the members as they are belonging to different sections of the society so there is no unity so in other organizations whereas company whereas come to the joint stock companies there is unity among the members because they all are belongs to one particular one particular 
section but in here there are belong to different sections of the society so that's why there is the absence of the unity among the people next lack of incentives to work hard so management management committee the committee the managing committee members or does not take any active part and interest in the management and affairs of the society they does not take part in the management or the affairs of the society because they are not given any pay they are not paid at all so that's why they are not interested to look after the what is going on in the business they are just to appoint there there are just nominated they are just elected by the voting process but they are not interested to look what is going on in the society they are not interested because the society is not going to pay any kind of incentives means any kind of income to them so that's why they are not at all interested to participate in these kind of business activities or in management activities of the corporate societies there will be there this management will be there but there will be idle they will sit silent and see what is going on they does not provide any kind of guidelines or adv advices to them because they are not getting any kind of money here they are not getting any kind of income here that's why they are silent next no transferability of the shares the shares of uh, the members of the corporative society can't transfer their share to other person but they can withdraw the capital whatever the capital they brought in brought when they enter into the corporative society whatever the capital they brought that capital can be withdrawn by them but they can't able to take the shares or transfer the shares they can't able to transfer the shares to other party but they can withdraw the total amount of capital whatever they brought into the business so these are the disadvantages see how many disadvantages are there inefficient management the management is not at all correct limited financial resources the financial resources are very limited because the rich persons are not participating here they don't have the they don't have the interest on the dividend which is given by the corporative societies next lack of unity among the members as the members are belonging to the different sections of the society they don't have the common sense they don't have the equal uh, similar common sense they don't have the equal qualities all are unique all are different so that's why it become very difficult for the unity among the members lack of incentive to the work hard the management management uh, committee members are not interested to participate because they are not getting any kind of thing if they do work hard or if provide any kind of uh, guidelines or anything even though they are not paid so they are not interested to participate in the affairs of the society non transferability of the shares they can't the members of the corporative society can't able to transfer the shares but they can withdraw the total capital whatever they brought next rigid state control all the corporative society should follow the rules and regulations of the corporative society act 1912 and the government so whatever the corporative societies are there these all corporative societies should have to follow the rules regulations which is levied by the corporative society act 1912 and the government so it is very uh, difficult for the society to function flexibly means freely in order to function freely or flexibly it will be very difficult for the government because they have to work under the control of the government that's why the society can't able to take the decision independently lack of secrecy there is no secrecy in the business in the society why because the members who are elected as the committee members they are changing from time to time when they are changing from time to time the information whatever the secret information regarding the society corporative society that is exposed to everyone every member know what is actually going on in that society so there is no stability of the person the person is changing from time to time the elected person changing from time to time and another person is coming in place 
and uh, that person is also going and some other person is coming so these type of activities are continuously going on so that's why there is no secrecy in the there is no secrecy in the corporate society this is a, the this is the biggest disadvantage of the corporate society next absence of the royalty the royalty of the members of the corporate society is also absent the royalty of the members of the corporate society may not be always assured and can't be afforded so there is no 100% assurance of the royalty of the members of the corporate society it may be or may not be we can't give any kind of assurance or we can't afford for the royalty of the corporate society members and next one is the political interference the political party which is in the ruling that party try to uh, try to send their own party member to the managing committee as the elections are held to select the managing committee member that committee member will be the current government which is presently the government which is running that government member will be the member of the managing committee that member will be the member of the managing committee present a government functioning lo untundo a government ki sambandhinchina vyakti maatrame a managing committee ki committee member ga elect avadam jarugutundi so ikkada political interference ekku untundi because the government interfere aitundante politics interference annatte kada so political interferences anedi untai this is the biggest disadvantage for the corporate societies next lack of competitive strength these corporate societies can't make competition with large business organizations with large business with large business organizations where the production is very large large units of production okay large units of production large units of production in these areas so the production is very high in these areas so that's why that's why uh, there is a lack of competitive strength the competition is very uh, difficult for the corporate societies to participate in the competition with the other business organizations so these are the disadvantages of the corporate society by completing the disadvantages of the corporate society we are successfully completed our third chapter and in the upcoming session we are going to enter into the fourth chapter that is the partnership form very shortly we will start that chapter so don't waste the time whatever the topics we have discussed in the third chapter totally that chapter is very important you have to study about the sole trading sole proprietor ship sole proprietorship business uh, in that futures or characteristics advantages and disadvantages and again in the joint in the family its futures advantages disadvantages here in corporate societies futures advantages and disadvantages along with the meaning and definitions of these three these three topics are very 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 much important for to score good marks in the exam so don't waste the time do hard work and uh, make the writing practice okay good writing will bring good marks for you so up to here up to part 10 our chapter 3 is completed in the fourth chapter we will meet with a new concept 